to solve the sex state equation, let's try to factor the left side. To do that, the first step would be to change it to a difference of two perfect squares, like that. So square minus another square equals zero. Then we can apply difference of squares formulas, right? So let's go. So x to the power of six can be written as x cubed and then square. And the second term can be written as 2ab. So plus 2a would be x cubed. Then b should be x squared, right? And then we need to put plus b squared. So it'll be x squared and then squared. But we need to minus this term to balance. So minus x squared and then squared. Minus 18x squared, we can write as minus 2 times x squared times 9. The last term, minus 9 squared equals 0. You see the first three terms combine to a perfect square. x cubed plus x squared and then squared. The last three terms, we take negative 1 out. There's another perfect square, right? So it is x squared plus 9 and then squared equals 0. So now we can apply difference of squares formula. So we get a minus b. So it be x cubed plus x squared minus b. x squared plus 9 times a plus b. So x cubed plus x squared plus b. x squared plus 9 equals 0. For the first factor, we correct right turn, cancel x squared. So we get x cubed plus 9, but we write 9 as cubic root of 9 and then cube. For the second factor, we get x cubed, and then we break 9 as 27 minus 18. So that's 27 minus 18. So we plus 27 and then plus here we have 2x squared. 2x squared minus 18 equals 0. Then we can apply the sum of squares formula. So we get x plus cubic root of 9 times x squared minus ab. So cubic root of 9 times x times b squared. So it would be cubic root of 9 square. For the second factor, this part, apply the sum of cubes formulas again. So we get x plus 3 times x squared minus ab. So it would be 3x plus b squared. So 3 squared, which is 9. And for the remaining two terms, take the 2 out. So we get x squared minus 9. Further factoring, so we get x plus 3, x minus 3 equals 0. So we get x plus cubic root of 9 times x squared minus cubic root of 9 times x plus. You can square 9, so we get cubic root of 81. And here we take the new common factor x plus 3 out, right? So we get x plus 3. Then correct the remaining terms. So here 2 times x minus 3, we get 2x minus 6. So we get x squared minus 3x plus 2x, so minus x. And 9 minus 6 plus 3 equals 0. We get four possibilities, but this quadratic factor, you can say, doesn't have real solution because the discriminant less than zero, right? Similar for this factor, no real solutions. The only real solutions we can get is from this factor and this factor. So the first case, x plus cubic root of 9 equals 0, so we get x equals negative cubic root of 9. 
from the third factor, x plus 3 equals 0, we get the second real solution, x equals negative 3. So we get two real solutions to the given equation. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.